What is guys? What's what's up? It's um Fame Cookie here or to Cookie Man, whatever you want to call me. And I'm bringing you a really 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 quick tutorial today cuz I am actually really tired. Just got back from talent show rehearsal from my school, so I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial that uh people I guess ask me how to, you know, this is another beginner tutorial tutorial, so yeah. Basically, this is just show you how to render your video and what the best settings are to do. So let's just say I insert that. Let's just pretend. Um, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to fast torch or something like that. No. Alright. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a torch. Yeah. Alright. So let's just say I wanted to render this. Basically, what I would do is basically go into file and then render as. Now, a lot of people make the mistake and they go to upload to YouTube right away if they want to upload this video to YouTube. Basically, what it does is it renders it already. It renders it for you. So basically, you type in your username, password, title of your video description, you know, all this mumbo jumbo. Uh, pick whatever. If you pick higher quality, then, like, basically, it's just like rendering it. It, it renders it for you and then it automatically just uploads it to v uh to um YouTube right when it's done rendering. Instead of rendering it, it goes in your files and you actually have to go to the website and click upload. This will just do it automatically. For me, I think this takes longer. So basically what I do, I just click render as. So it's it, I just like doing this better and it's in my files and named and all organized and stuff like that. So I just like uh doing it this way better. So basically what you do is you go down is the best best settings. You go down and then you go to the main concept AVC slash AAC MP4 or AVC. You click on this little arrow right there and it'll the bunch of options will uh, drag down. Basically what you want to click is internet HD 720p or if you got a really really fast computer and your computer can handle it and stuff like that you can click 1080p but I like 720p because I don't have the best computer in the world um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is this little loop region right here I'm actually going to cancel this make sure that this loop region around right here is around your whole video like let's say I have this video a lot longer you would want to put it all the way over there and you just want to put the loop region to the end of your video so it would be like that not like that that would only render up to here we don't want to put it all the way to your end of your video. So anyways, you go to file, like I said, render as. Go to main concept. And then go to internet HD 720. Name whatever you want. I'm just going to name it whatever. I know it's not a valid name. Frick. Oh my gosh, so I'm going to what? Have to do this. Alright. Tattoo. Tutorial. Oh my gosh, really? Tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so then you click that. Uh, render loop region only. And then click render. And then it'll start rendering it. And right here you can pick where to save it. Right here, click the browse button. You can pick where to save it. I usually just save it in documents and then move it to whatever file I want from there. Um. So yeah. Then you just render it and you're all good. So, I'm sorry. This was a really basic tutorial today. Didn't really... I mean, most people already know how to do this from other tutorials, but, you know, I'm really tired. So, my next tutorial on will be on how to download my motion track templates and how to use them. Because it's actually more confusing than you would think. You would think, oh, just download it and then change the text. No, you have to download the video files with it. And then, yeah, it's just, I'll, I'll show you on Thursday on my next tutorial on how to do it. So, this is um, to Cookie Man or fame cookie and I'm out peace